be thou exalted, be thou exalted, be thou exalted, O Lord. Heavens adore him, heart, worship the Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, your hands, be thou exalted, be thou exalted, O Lord. Heavens adore in earth, worship the Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, exalted. O heavens adore in earth, worship the Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord. Or he more praise the Lord. Or he more praise the Lord. Let the women praise the Lord. Let the pastors praise the Lord. Let the workers praise the Lord. Let the youth praise Jesus. Or him all praise Jesus. Or him all praise the Lord. Pastor Rika praise the Lord. Let the women praise the Lord. Coordinators praise the Lord. All the workers praise the Lord. If I tease, praise the Lord. All the Christians praise the Lord. All we more praise Jesus. Praise, praise, praise Jesus. All we more praise the Lord. Everybody praise Jesus. Let the children praise thy Lord. Let the children worship Jesus. Let the workers praise the Lord. Let the members praise Jesus. Oh, we more praise the Lord. Oh, we more praise Jesus. For what he has done for us. All the good things he has done for us. All oh, more praise Jesus. Begin to praise him now. Thank you for the testimony. Thank you for your life. The Lord has done wonders in your life. Even you staying alive, you have not died, it's a testimony. Many are crying today, many have died, but the Lord has kept you alive. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to thank God. Even the food you are eating every day, some don't have, but you, you have. At least every day you must eat something. Begin to appreciate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Many don't know the Lord Jesus in his fullness, but you, as a RMO member, you are holy, you are righteous. You have known the truth of God. Begin to appreciate God for your mercy. Thank him for your visitation over your life and your family. Father, we love you. We exalt you. We thank you for loving us in all remote. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you for revealing secret things to us. Thank you for concerning over us, O oh Lord. Father, we want to appreciate you. We love you with all our heart. Thank you, Lord, for showing concern. Thank you for taking all remote seriously. Thank you for looking down upon us. We love you. We give you all the honor. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for another visitation. We thank you for perfecting us because this is a wonder you are doing. This is a way that you are perfecting us every day. We thank you, Lord, that you have chosen or remote this end time. We thank you for loving us. We thank you that you are not holding your peace until you see or remote. Go to the point that you want it to be in Jesus' name. We thank you for the children of God in Orimo. Father, we pray your blessing will locate us everywhere we are in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for everything. I cover this message with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come and take control. Speak to your children. And those that will hear it later, let it work for their life in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. 
I'm happy to deliver the word of God to you this morning. Something that the Lord showed me in Oka for Anambra Crusade. I will title it, God Demands Zealous Service from His Children. God Demands Zealous Service from His Children. Titus chapter 2 from verse 11 to 14. Please open to the book of Titus chapter 2. We'll start reading from verse 11 to 14. Hallelujah. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Hallelujah. What I'm going to share this afternoon is what the Lord Jesus showed me on that particular day. The plan of the devil. And why this revelation come about is after the revelation, the Lord Jesus gave me again concerning the brother that died and went to help brother Dan. After one week, this one came about. I read, I had a dream that we were in the Oremo camp, like conference, we were in this camp in Oremo. And then that the Rika mount the pulpit and said, it's lunch time. We pray for the food. And I saw him bake on three coordinators. One of the coordinators I can recognize was Pastor Donatus, uh, Enugu coordinator. And then he sent them to the kitchen for food. All of a sudden, we in the hall started hearing some kind of unpleasant sound from the people outside shouting. Then one of the coordinator, another coordinator, ran to Dadirika on the pulpit and said, Sir, the witches are revolting for the attack against them. They are saying outside that since the children of God are up to fight them, they also are ready to attack them. Another coordinator from the kitchen came to Daddy Rika and said, When we got to the kitchen, the food was not ready. The workers were few. The witches said that we are the majority in the cooking. Since we withdraw, where are the Christians cooking the food? We in the hall were confused. What is happening outside? I started hearing them, that the witches, they were all over. We are ready for war. One of them opened a drum of snakes, pour it all over the campground. Even in the generator room, I saw the snakes moving towards there. All of a sudden, the generator went off. Outside became dark. Just only the moon light was shining outside. Then I saw some workers running to put on the, the chain. And then as soon as they were going there, some were beaten by the snakes. Some were not. And I was asking why this snake was beating this one. This one was not beaten by the snakes. And then the Spirit of God made me to know that anyone that is not completely holy, the snake will bite the person. And those that are true children of God, the snake will be going behind. It was a calamity in the camp. Everywhere outside was noise. Then Pastor Donatus, the coordinator of Enugu State that Dadirika sent with other pastors to go and collect food in the kitchen, to tell the kitchen to bring food, came and was shouting, we need hands in the kitchen. Volunteer workers, please. Let's go to the kitchen. And he was telling that Erika, when we went there, we noticed that it was only few people was in the kitchen. And those few people cannot able to cook for the entire crowd that is here. So they were telling us, we are few, that's why we are delayed with food. We need hands, we need help. So Pastor Donatus now came into the hall, was shouting, please, volunteers, please, we need workers to the kitchen. Please help us with the kitchen work. We need people to go to the kitchen to do food. And then to my surprise, nobody in the halls 
want to go to join the kitchen people. Some were saying, I am tired. Some were saying, I am not fit for this work. My body is paining me. Whilst other were saying, I am here to hear the word of God. I am not going to the kitchen. Nobody moved from the congregation. The witches now, they were saying outside, we are ready for you people. Come out. Oh yeah, you people should come and do the work now. We were hearing them. And some genuine Christians that were outside were shouting by being attacked outside. Shouting, help, help. You people should help us. They are beating us outside. Inside the hall, we were confused. And then the enemy outside, they were laughing at us. And then they were saying, where is your God? Where is your strength? Come out. Let's show ourselves. All eyes were under the Rika on the pulpit. What he will do? Because when the coordinators will come with word to him, they will stand by his side to hear what he will say later to them to calm the situation. Everybody was looking at him. The coordinators they will run, Daddy, see what is happening. Daddy, see what is happening over there. They are doing this. They are going up and down, rioting all over the place. Then they will stand. Maybe you will give them what they are standing for, what he will say. Then immediately, the Rika stood up in the pulpit and said, let us pray. Prayer was hot in the hall. Everybody started praying. Then I saw someone coming in in a great light into the hall, went straight to the coordinator's side. Immediately, people noticed that he was Jesus. Shout was all over the hall. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I was shouting, Jesus, Jesus. He went straight to the side of the coordinators. And then, prayer stopped. Immediately, we saw him. We stopped the prayer. Everybody was marveling, seeing him alive. This one is not one person saw him. It's like the whole congregation was seeing him. He walked straight as we are praying. He walked straight with a great light. That everybody noticed something is happening. So everybody now, hey, Jesus, shout was all over in the hall. Then the prayer stopped because he started talking to the coordinators. He said, have you people seen the children you are training for the kingdom work, for their father in heaven work? See how lazy they are in the work of God. How careless, I don't care behavior they are showing towards the things and work of God. In their father house he stretched forth his hand he did his hand like this I was surprised to see plenty crowd of people sitting down in this auditorium and I was saying to myself but pastor Donatus was asking can somebody help us in the kitchen we need volunteers work we need people that will give themselves a kitchen nobody stood up so it was like maybe there are not many people because the light in the hall was scanty you cannot see well it was that as soon as they put up the snakes went to the generator i fed the generator everywhere went blank it was the light the moonlight was shining and we were hearing them shouting outside so when jesus did his hand like this i was surprised to see crowd of people sitting in the hall and then i was saying but why are these people sitting here Plenty people. And this was how they are calling to go to the kitchen. Nobody stood up in this crowd. And we are still sitting waiting for food. Then, as Jesus did his hand like this, I was shocked to see plenty of people sitting down. And they were asking for people to go and cook. Jesus now said, see them sitting down, waiting to be served by witches and wizards. How will they think they will escape from satanic spell? sin of lukewarmness when they have abandoned and left the work to their enemy that hated them jesus was not happy he said see them as he did the sun like this you know nothing hidden when he just did and i did the kind of light is more than the generator light you can't hide anywhere you are he was saying see them sitting down lazy people coordinator these are your people you are training and we are we are training children soldier for god see them now these are your people lazy people carefree people they don't concern about the things of god they abandon the work in the hand of witches they are all sitting down to be served and they are calling them to the kitchen they are lazy people how can you a child of god be escape the spell of satan that's why you see many people today lukewarmness backsliding 
some kind of sin that somebody who committed you will say, ah, is it me? How did I enter into this sin? Because every minute, every hour, witches and wizards are serving you. And when they are serving you, you think they will give you genuine food, they will pollute it before giving to you. And this has happened because children of God have abandoned their work. This work in the house of God is supposed to be for you and I, true children of God, not in the hands of the devil. Then the Lord say, this is what is happening all over the churches in the world today. My true children that have the spirit of God, heirs of the kingdom of God, their father work in the vineyard. The churches have shown laziness, carefree behavior towards it. And those children of the devil that are under duress, commandment, and fear of their master Satan, they have been the one in position in all departments. Being zealous, tireless life, no murmuring to the work they are doing. Always ready and punctual to church activities and services. The Lord was saying here, see them. When you now say any activities in the church, the agent of darkness, they are punctual. They are zealous. They don't murmur. They work tirelessly because they are under commandment of the devil. You can see now, he was telling the coordinator, he was pointing to the congregation. You can see now, when they remove their hands in the kitchen, food is delayed. But see the crowd sitting down here in this hall, refusing to do their father works, to keep the work going and clean from pollution, to go and cook food for even them to eat and get the, the program going. They refuse because they are lazy people. When two children of God come together, the devil will not come. The Holy Spirit will not depart. Spirituality, fear of God, sinless life will be seen all over the members in the church. But when darkness rules, sin will be seen all over. Lukewarmness in the life of children. No fear of God, backsliding, compromising. My standard of holiness and righteousness will take over the church. The Lord was telling the coordinator, when you started seeing this, this to just to tell you that this is how the laziness happening in other churches. And when darkness, people that are in darkness, be the leader, be the, the coordinator, be the prayer warrior, be the one cooking in the kitchen, be the one usher in the choir, you will now begin to see defilements. Because the children of God, the heirs of this kingdom work, they have abandoned it for the agent of darkness. He said, my heart, he did his hand like this. My heart has been in pain for long for this lifestyle of Christians in the world. It's not starting for remote today. This is one of the strategies Satan is using to pollute churches and he has done to many. That's why the Lord was doing his hand like this, that for long, this lifestyle of lazy Christians abandoning my work, their savior, and they are busy facing worldly work. Many Christians, two children of God today, have abandoned the work of God. But Jesus said they have turned their face to the work in the world. It's true. Is it business? Is it job? Is it what? All you know is that where you are getting money, you can eat free. Your heart is in the things of the world. You have abandoned the house of God. The house of God, you'll be looking for laborers. While the members are more, but the, the people are not there to work. Because many of you are facing worldly work. Facing worldly things. That is what the Lord was trying to tell us here. He said, my heart has been in pain for long for this lifestyle of Christians in the world. Abandoning my work, their savior. Facing worldly work, selfish work, only care for themselves and their family. That is it. Some people, when they come to church, only for themselves. When they say, they, no, me, I don't want to. I will just guide myself to go heaven. JJ, only me, this are. And when they will be calling, we need this, we need this, we need people, we need evangelist, we need prayer warrior, we need people who just sit down and make us if they are not here. And you know you have the gift of it. This is how Satan have carried you away. This is how Satan and his agents have taken over many, many denominations. And my children are under oppression, pains, attack under them in this denomination. In many denominations, the leaders, the reverend, the bishop, 
the overseers, the workers, the prayer warrior, the leaders, the choir, the ushers are full of agents of darkness. And the two children in that denomination, in that gathering, are passing through satanic attack, oppression, because the leaders over them are of the devil. I am here today to let you people know the danger of laziness to the work of God. See what is happening now in deeper life. Kumui crying on the pulpit, begging them to go back to their hot holiness life where they began. But no change towards that tears because the majority are the children of the devil. Satanic overseers are over there. My children are suffering over there. That's why all the tears of my servant Kumui will not touch their heart because they are not under his control. They are under the control of the devil. This spell have oppressed my children to lukewarmness, unholy and unrighteous life. Being unchained, it started like this. When two children of God leave the work for fake Christians among them, it said, this is how it started in deeper life. When the two children of God in deeper life abandoned the work for the fake Christians among them, and now it has reached to this point. I am using deeper life to open you people's eyes because you people are following the footsteps of deeper life when they started. And today, I am weeping over deeper life. I say many churches that you know that started well in Nigeria and in other parts of the world now are falling because of this bad attitude of my children, the two children of God, abandoning the work and the house of God for children of God, which are of the devil. And now I have given them up because my heart has mourned for them for long. He said, now take a look at redeem. When the Lord started saying things like this, he don't only call names of churches. He would display it for us. This one, everybody in the, in the congregation that was sitting was seeing practical what he has been telling other people to tell them. He was showing us and people were like, hey, oh, like this. Because some people will see some pastor faces and say, hey, like this. But see those fake denominations. As he say like this, that Satan give them demands to meet up with his tax, showing zeal in their father's business, the devil. And then he did his hand like this. He said, see them. They are very serious with their father business. They are up and down, not sitting down. With programs, with crusade, keeping the children of God, their members busy in activities. And they are reaping the fruits. When he was talking, he said, see them. See them. He was telling us to see what these fake pastors. When he was saying these fake pastors, I start seeing the ones I can recognize, I will call them. The other ones, me, I don't know them, but you will see some people say, hey, you know, different parts of, is he white? Is he black? Is he Nigeria? Is he, he all kind of races? He was showing us for us to know that the work these people are doing 24 hours is because they are under demands of Satan. Keep working. And then when he was doing like this, I saw Winner's Chapel leader, I saw Dunamis, Polineche, I saw a Christ Embassy, I saw TB Joshua, I saw another pastor that used to wave his ear, I don't know his name, one slim black man we used to see on TV, I was seeing them like this. Then you will show white people, you will show, this is how the thing was moving. People that know some of them know in the hall, we are like, hey, you know, some people will shock to, hey, this too, hey, like this. But the one that surprised me, that God had been saying that they should repent, we will believe that, ah, this man of God is still, at least he's still with God. I was surprised to see the Lord categorizing all these fake people, and this pastor is among them, which is redeemed pastor. Are they boy? The Lord joined me and said, all of them are fake. They're out of my way. Then when he reached that place, are they boy? Everybody that, hey, so it's true. Like that. Even me, I was like, ah, so this thing is true. Because of all this thing we have been hearing, me, I'm number one person, were like, I don't believe he have gone to, like that. I know it's compromisable. But when the Lord joined him in this revelation, and now said, ah, so this thing is true. Then he said, as he was showing us, he said, can't you see them? reaping the fruit are you not seeing some of you my children used to even murmur about it 
see them. They are the one having people. People are going there. How will they expect them not to have the members when they are busy working for their father, the devil? But see the righteous leaders, congregation, cool in laziness activities. He did his hand again like this. You will see Papa Kumui. I saw him crying on the pulpit. You will show him other pastors. Some of them, I don't know. There's some of them in this country. Some are in little scanty group but their holiness pastor small church you'll be seeing there he says see them lazy and they are sitting down they are not doing anything you have the word you are not moving with it because of this lazy attitude towards the work of god he says see them that is the fake pastor he says see them compare this and this one which one you will see those fake pastors program people are shouting they are on the street giving out charity the lord said compare it was showing two screen compare who will not have the members it now say to us it show us the zealous pastors as he was busy showing us then he said so or more arise from despair or else they will take over Satan have sent them, but you will overcome them if you take upon yourself to do your father work everywhere in the church or outside. He say, by dominating the prayer warrior, this is what Jesus was telling us that children of God, I want the highest percentage in every department in Orimo should be dominated by two children of God, prayer warriors the workers, the choir, the usher, evangelism department, kitchen department, driving department, the leaders, the coordinators, the preachers, those that are good in giving among the congregation, be vigilant over your father work, over the house of God. He was talking to us, he was rebuking the congregation that this department that are in the church, that build up the church, the prayer warrior department, the evangelism department, the leaders department, the, the choir department, every department you are thinking of that come together to develop the church, that you want the true children of God to dominate those places. They should not allow agents of darkness to take over. Then he turned to the coordinators. He said, add this to your preaching everywhere you go. Teach them to arise to their father work. Tell them to come out of laziness. Take back their rights. Pray to me to dethrone fake pastors, leaders, overseers, workers, women leaders, fathers in the Lord that are overseeing my children. I will bring back the righteous on the throne. Jesus turned to Dadirika and said, Lead your people to pray for zeal for God's service. By that, you will have less stress, my son. Never reduce the prayer mood in Horemon. Train them in prayer and love for the work of God. There is great reward attached to it. Then he turned to the congregation and reprove us, the children of God, sitting down of laziness. He said, we should add motivation for the Lord's work as part of our remote mandate. He was telling us that we children of God that we don't believe it's only prayer, it's only they come to church, listen to messages, go back, go on, you know, that we should add this work, like taking the work of God, taking the work of God in the house of God, part of our Christian service. You know, many things we need, children of God, you know, all these things they will be looking for, those that will clean the hall, those that will buy chair, those that will cook food, those that will serve, those that will sing. We need people to do this. And some people will sit down. And you know this is work is for your father. You will see that, me, I cannot do it. All. I'm very tired. All. And those that are under the commandment of Satan, commanding power of Lucifer, they, they will just stood up. They will start because they know that this is opportunity. In fact, some of them don't need to call it. They will call straight and be start doing these things. And you, you will see that ah, there are people there now to do it. There are people there. When you, you are the one to do your father business. And you have allowed stranger to rule you. No wonder you see in the churches today, oppression. People are crying. They are in the church. They are not seeing breakthrough. Some have been frustrated by their leaders. 
they are pastors, they are overseers, they are bishops, they are superintendents, whatever thing. They have been crying. Why are they oppressing me like this? Two children of God have been oppressed by pastors, by their leaders, by their friends in the church. Nobody say anything. These are the things. God make me to know that, oh, when you have the, the evil people ruling, no wonder the children of God will suffer under them. Hallelujah. So the Lord said, the witches have sold their souls to Satan and are walking on that threat of death by Satan. And that is a lie by him. If they come to me, I will save them. But you people know your father don't give threat. I said, his word, I yea and amen. The soul that sinned shall die. So don't allow this evil ones to destroy you. Push you out from your father's work and presence. Arise, be zealous in prayer. Studying the word of God. Church activities, church work, evangelism, preaching, in giving. The Lord was telling us in giving here that how will we now say that the work of God is delayed when the polluted money from Satan is given to us? We, the two children of God that work genuinely, that have clean money, we are not giving. That these are the things that he's doing, I will come there. He said, giving, comfort for the work. Or more, be vigilant and be watchful. Satan has turned attention to you. And this is his strategy. He used to take over other denominations. Pray for every appointment, selection of leaders, worker, in every department, seek counsel for me. Who should be there and who should not be there? In every position, he was talking to the leaders. He said, any position in your state, in your chapter, anywhere you are, any position you want to give anybody, leaders in evangelism, leaders in prayer warrior, leaders in choir, leaders in this, leaders in your life, you that will come and say, this is my prayer partner, you know the Lord has been wanting us, you must pray and ask God who is fit for this work. By that, he will dethrone the fake ones and enthrone the righteous one. He said, don't be afraid, I'm with you. Prayer Holy and righteous life is the key. All fast to it. He rebuke those outside. When he finished, he now told us that we should not be afraid of this month, of all these agents of darkness, that the key towards it, that prayer, holy and righteous life, is what all any child of God need. That you don't need to be afraid of witches, their attack, or whatever. When you are prayerful, when you are holy and you are righteous, you are safe. So he was encouraging us because he noticed that we were afraid of those ones outside. He said it should be peaceful. Then he turned his back and was pointing outside. And we built these ones outside. And everywhere was looking bright. They disappeared. And then we saw peace. Then people now begin to shout, Jesus, 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 Jesus. We started shouting because the place became clear after he rebuking those agents of darkness that we are, we are ready for fight. We will deal with you people. He turned his hand and rebuked them. As soon as he rebuked them, it's like they disappear like, like when they force carry them. Then we now saw bright light all over outside, inside. Then people start hailing him, start praising him for the, what he has done. We start shouting, Jesus, Jesus. He disappeared. Then I woke up. May the Lord awaken us, children of God. May the Lord make us to rise up to do our father work. These things the Lord shows us is true. It's not only for one person. True children of God, you are witness. How lazy you have been in the things of God. How careless you have been in the house of God. Some of you, God will show you these things is spoiling. He says, it's not my business. Eh, I'm not in the leadership. God will reveal to them. Some of these witches, some of these evil things we are seeing, you are making God to use only one person. God has even shown you. But some of you say, eh, no, it's not my business. And your father's house is spoiling. And you say you want to go to heaven, you are a wicked Christian. So this is a time for God. As God has visited all the more, he is telling us that this is the same way other churches are your witness they started like this but this is the same way satan sent many of his agents and when they come they don't give breathing space 
They are good in everything. They don't murmur. They work. And when you want to give work to people, is it not the people that are ready? You give them. So we are making big mistake by using some wrong people because of zeal or whatever. We are not being prayerful. And we that are supposed to be in that position to walk, that the house of God should be clean because you are a child of God. You have the spirit of God. When you are walking, the spirit of God will be moving. We will be sitting down and allowing the people to rule. And when they rule, you will start seeing backsliding, sinners. You will start seeing people changing, doctrine changing. So he's telling us in all and more, we should arise or else we should not be in domain or say, I, which is a wizard and not among us. He says, Satan has sent them. So if we don't arise in prayer and prayer and vigilant in our father's world, God forbid, please arise, children of God, that you are hearing me anywhere you are in prayer and don't be silent. Give yourself for the work of God. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's rise up upon our feet and go before the Lord. Give thanks to him for what you have heard. We are privileged to hear this. Divine Father, I have a new having the spirit of God. Father, this is a chance we have. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We can be seated. Amen. Well, uh, let me say this to you, that the conversion of witches and wizards is not simple. What do we say of Orthodox churches where there is really no Holy Ghost power? They die and go to hell, all of them. Where, what do we even say about some of these Pentecostal churches where there is no righteousness? They die and go to hell, all of them, because they are the leaders themselves. Uh, and holiness churches where there, are no, there is no prayer, they die and go to hell. They are scarcely not discovered. But God will raise up holiness revival movement for the salvation of witches and wizards. All these things, revelations that are going on, this is a witch, this is a wizard, this is it, that you are seeing here. Has it been happening like that somewhere? Never. It's because God wants them to know you have been under deception for all these years. You have been told nobody can discover you. But you are now before the all-seeing God. For your good. Because you were deceived. You have been told there is no power but the power of Satan. The witches look to the marine and they talk about growing up to your hierarchy. You never think about God. In fact, they told you that God is lower. God is a lower factor. That the more highly you go up, the less God becomes to you. 
you have been so deceived that you sold your life to it. And you're prospering really fully, really, because for all these years, who has known you? God now in holiness revival movement came to be opening you up. No power has blocked it. If he does not want to make you know, he has a reason. Maybe the time has not come. Otherwise, he will make you known. What for? Is it for your shame? For your salvation. Those who are in hell now, who died witches and wizards, would have, will prefer that they had paraded their names, announced it in BBC, announced their name in Voice of America, announced their name in uh, Al Jazeera. Uh -huh. They should have announced their name, write it in the internet. In fact, be distributing the name from house to house. Why shouldn't that be done if it will save me from hell? That should be done. Now it's too late for me. So you are in a fortunate ministry, which is some ways, for the salvation of your life. We who are taking the decision, get out of the church, do this. We're not doing it willingly. It is a major to bring you to your senses so that you will see the devil that, see, you fell in your promise for me. You promised me nobody will do me anything. You promised me your power will take care of me. You promised me, see, you fell, and I was embarrassed. In that, in that shame, you will turn your back at the devil. That's the purpose. But you may be fighting it. No, 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 it's the devil. Satan is fighting because his end has come. He has no other place. You are fighting because of what? You have a hope. I had a demo was saying to one person, if I had the hope that I would be saved, I would, love, I would stop this business. A demon. If there is a hope that I can still be saved, I can still be forgiven by God, I can still change, I will abandon this demon business. This is not a human being, but demon. And you have the hope that you will be saved. You are sticking to Satan who cannot be saved again. I'm ashamed. You will see your nakedness. Another thing is God has started. He will not fail. He said when I start a thing I will finish it. So since God has started embarrassing these people. This is just the beginning. It's a fact. If you are not ready to repent, just leave this place. Don't bother of holiness revival movement. Don't come there. Because God said, I should tell you, he has born with what you did to other churches. You have really affected them. You got your promotion ha, in other churches, but that you will never succeed in holiness revival movement. I'm telling you the truth, and that is fact. That is fact. This movement will never be pulled down. Yeah. Forget witches and wizards. Behave as if they don't exist. Because God will handle them here. Yeah. If you are stubborn, God will be stubborn to you. The Bible said to the forward, God will be forward to them. That's scripture. And Satan, who has no hope again, is the one pushing you forward. Go there. Go there. Otherwise, I will deal with you. God also comes to show you by what he is doing here that I am almighty power. If I pick you, Satan has failed. There is no dealing that he can do. Nothing over your life. If Satan has power, Pastor Rika would have gone since... Sister Linda would have gone since. Are you hearing? God is showing you this. 
if satan has the power he's telling you that he will kill you if you don't do this i will kill you i'm telling you what about we who are talking and destroying his works that he is not able to handle us all his poison fell all his guns fell all his method fell everything has failed hey glory to our god in one, on one of these revelations, he was pursuing Sister Linda. You have done damage to my kingdom. Done damage to my kingdom. And she, as she ran somewhere, Satan wanted to come there. He knocked at a glass. A glass blocked him. He carried a stone to break the glass. Bah! When will he finish breaking that glass? Go and be breaking that mountain. Let me know when you will finish it. To sh God wants to show you there is a superior power higher than anything that this jesus is a reality leave those things all and come to salvation go and confess let your shame let your name be lifted to the sky and save yourself from the rot to come save yourself from the anger that is coming do we now abandon you to satan are you not human beings like we are? Didn't Jesus die for you as us? And he died for us. Is there no hellfire waiting for you? As he's waiting for any other person. We should leave you in the hand of Satan. Don't, don't come on our way. Leave and go to another place. Where they can leave you. Here we will not leave you. The power of God will be upon you. And prayer, we will pray. We will never faint. All the methods of weakening prayer shall not work here. Where will you climb? We will pull you down. What will you do? There's nothing you can do. Ah. There's nothing. How do you, you are, are you in your senses that what God did, Satan said, go and destroy it? And you are going actually. Are you in your senses? Are you not mad? Are you not mad? Ah, they show you technique. Go and use this technique like this. Go and do this. Go and do this. You think it will work here? You are wasting time. You are wasting time. God has started. He will continue. Not to embarrass you, but to save you. Not for embarrassment but to save you. If judgment comes upon you, it's for your salvation. So that you should cry out and repent and call to God for salvation. Jonah, when Jonah was swallowed by the fish, he said, in the belly of the fish, I remember the Lord. I cried out to the Lord. And the Lord made the fish to vomit him. So that covenant will vomit you. Yeah. Make up your mind. Despise the various colors of power manifested by demons in the covenant. Various colors of power manifested by those ancient men that are your leaders there. Various colors display, turn to dog, turn to cat, turn to this. Turn. Despise it. There's a higher power than that. I said there's a higher power than that. The Bible says in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Hey! Witches and ways are dead, playing with you. Village people are, are bowing before you and you think that you are anything. And people in the society, God has arisen in this end time. These are the days of the manifestations of the sons of God. You will bow. I say you will bow. If you want to resist, you will be smitten. It's a rock. He that falls upon it shall be broken. And to whom forever the stone shall fall, it shall grind to powder. That's the world. Righteous people, holy people. You better repent and confess. Throw away shame. Don't plan to fight this church. Otherwise, you're in trouble. I will be enemy to your enemy. God has promised to fight you because you have made sure you, you have made up your mind. Oh, Satan deceived you to fight holiness movement. 
God will fight you. I have said I will make war with Amalekite forever and ever. So you're here for your salvation. Repent. Repent. Let your shame come forth now and let the Lord cover you. Then to hide your shame and the Lord comes in anger to deal with it. Rise up upon your feet. Pass this message to witches and wizards everywhere in this movement. It's not going to be well for them. God himself is the one that says, I will make war with the Amalekites from generation to generation. God will make war with you. Whatever power that you think you have, we are talking about the greater power. Greater power. Behold, I give unto you power. That's he heavier power. Heavenly power. Triumphant power. That treads down serpents and scorpions. of darkness. Bind them. Bind the forces of witchcraft in holiness by our movement. Whoa, wow. Let the fire of the Lord consume them in every unit, in every chapter, in every nation. In the name of Jesus. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe
I believe in you. Believe you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe you, Lord, God's you. 